and uh, they will be playing up against Chippa United in that quarter final. Coach, uh, maybe just opening remarks heading into that one. Uh, you know, you play up against a tricky opposition in Chippa United, uh, but it's also you know a home game for you and an opportunity you know to reach another semi final uh, this season. Thank you, Sunny Bonani, and afternoon to all of you. Yeah, uh, we play against Chipper. When we see the last nine games of them, they won five, drew two, and lost two, scored 13 goals, ball possession average every game around 46%. So it means it's a team that is well well coached and it will be a very tough opponent yes we are playing at home yes we know about our strengths but uh, we also know that we have to be on our best to increase our chance of course to win the, the games and and it will be a, a, a tough one and hopefully we can be the team that can get to the next round thank you Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, let's take questions from the floor just by a show of hands. I've got two roving microphones. Uh, I'll take the first question. If there are any. Oh, can we? He's still thinking. Oh, he's still, he's still, he's still thinking about his, his question. Okay. <laughs> All right. Zako uh, there from ENCA. Uh, coach, I'll just go. Um, you, you seem to have a very good uh, defensive record. I think you haven't conceded in about five or, or six matches. Um, uh, just maybe what would you put that down to and uh, how much confidence does it give you going into this clash against the Chippewa United? Um, <clears throat> when you see that we've been the last season, the second best defense that we had, and this season we are again the second best defending team so it means that uh, in my view if you defend well you you of course increase the chance to win games and our first defender is the striker and our first offensive guy is the defender so it means that we have to stay compact in every stage in every block so we don't have three or four blocks we have one block so, so it means if we attack, we attack together. If we are in a middle block, we are all there. So, so it's not like that we let four players on one block and six players on the other blocks, like many teams are playing, because they want to win the second balls, especially teams when they play with the long balls. But we try to be in one block and to defend and to help each other. And yes. It's our goal, and, and 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 it's just great because then you just have to score one goal instead of two if you uh, have a weak defending team. Thank you, coach. Let's take the next question, Kamu. Thank you, coach. Um, coach, you've been in the stage before with the other competitions, the Olympic Cup now, and the TS Galaxy is in a beautiful run of form when you see yourself within the top eight of the league. Now, at this crucial stage, what then do you say to your players, you know, going into these encounters against Chief, like I said, that you've been in this situation before, what did it mean for you to actually cross over the line and go over? What I say to my players, I tell them that winning don't care about from, from where you come, which uh, color you has. Winning wants to get everything from you and if you get into the a comfort zone then you will be replaced and this is what my players know we been there i've been also when i played in these kind of things because then you see that your mind try to trick you that if you win three games or four games what we did then you it's a very uh, tricky one that you maybe step into the uh, uh, a comfort zone, I would like to say, but uh, I think that we've been through these kind of things also the last season and we learned from it. We have to 
because we see that everything what was, it's a great thing, but we have a still, still long way to, to go and the consistency, it will be a key, of course, and if we want to be a team, a winning mentality team that we have to show it now and, and the question it will be, can we show the same run, the same quality, what to put on the field, what we did uh, the last games and then we will know who we are and every player also. I always tell my players, you can learn a lot from yourself when you are now on this stage, if you win the games, how much you want to achieve your dreams. And, uh, and this is our goal. It was from the first uh, start to be in the top eight spot and of course to go so, 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 so long as uh, possible in every cup and hopefully we can go through. Mazola. Um, what you done so far with this team, do you at times feel the constant need to, you know, for the team to prove themselves? Because every time you happen to mention that you've won all the whole clean sheet, whatever, you know, there seems to be a lot of background noise, so I really goes again. What we did, we do again. You learn from your uh, failures, and then you try to do it uh, next time better. If if you look back, we in the last ten games we only lost one game, and for a team like us that are in a process, it's just a beautiful thing, and we have to give a credit a lot to to my players it's not about me it's about my players here because this is or they are the the guys that put the things on the field and i always say it from the first day i came that if we lose games is because of me and if we win games is because of the players i take the responsibility i try to put the players in the right frame of mind I try to help them. I try to have uh, to help them with on the field with some imaginations things. When to press, when to shoot, when to cover, and when to dribble. But I don't want to kill, of course, the creativity of the players. But uh, on the protecting place on the field, please find uh, solutions. And we have these kind of quality players. We got players in that would like to improve, that wants to improve, that get this kind of winning mentality and it's just a beautiful way, but it's not just this season, we get it or we got it also the, the last, because if not, we would not be able to sell, of course, seven players to one of the best teams in our league, but uh, the way, the process is there, we have to make the next step. And like I always said, if we, if I would be a coach that don't like the pressure, that don't, don't like to put myself, my players under pr pressure, then we have the wrong job be because I could do it in an easy way and say it, our goal is to stay in the league and our goal is to maybe uh, go to the quarter final and we are happy. No, we are not. We want to be in the top eight spot for this season we want to come so far as uh, uh, possible of course our dream is to win the cup and we know that we can do it but we all also know if we don't put 100 percent on the field from monday until the friday not on the game time from in the training in the training weeks is the most important thing this is where you win the games and if we don't put the intense if we don't have this kind of high level intensity practice every day then the game will be a very tricky one. And if you do it every day in the, at the training, then the game will be easier for the players. And this is our goal, to, to, to make it so easy as uh, possible, that they feel well on their field. And yeah, and the secret is determination, great attitude, great lifestyle from all of us, starting from myself to until to the kidman. Tell me. 
I know Coach Alunga to speak about the individual players. In the past, you've spoken about Mirkovic, you've spoken about Parker. There's one player that stands out for me, um, Tato Kiba. He's brought, well, he brought him in this season, converted him from right back, back to midfield, and he's even in a position where he's scoring goals now. Just your thoughts on his progress and what he means that he brings to your squad? I think when he, when he came to us and he told me that he played on the right back, for me, this is not a, a right back, actually. For, for me, he is, he is a top quality on the, we, uh, the, te the technique. He can see things better when he is central. And when he came, he struggled with our intensity of the training. But after a while, when he saw that this is the only way where he, where he can improve, because he sees also from the other players that improved, and probably he got a, a, a feedback from the players that if you don't work hard, that you will be replaced. And this is a great thing. And he started to train very well, and he started to be excellence in a lot of things. And if excellence became becomes then a habit, this is who you are then, and this is who who he is. He's a very great for our team. He's a fantastic player, and he I think he's 28 now, and he's a, he has a lot of years in front of him, and I'm sure that he will improve even more and and become the, the best uh, middle field player in our league. Okay, I saw a hand here, Mashat. Um, I think I've noted you, Robin Juk. Welcome, Coach. Uh, on, on something a bit different here, Coach. Um, I, I see um, Goyo Mary sitting one game away from playing five up to the 50 professional matches in South Africa. Um, somebody should have stayed in seven of football for us in the country. Will you be somehow tempted in the last game matches to be in that one match to there because you will be a significant last one for the first time? I think for him, it shows the great lifestyle and the great quality that, that he has, that he can stay, of course, so long in this uh, business. And he is unbelievable, great role model for a lot of players in our team, in, in this league, and how he train. And when you see him, how fit he is, unbelievable with, in, in this kind of age. It's not easy, and I'm sure uh, he played in the cup game and he played well. And I'm absolutely sure that we will see 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 see, see him again on the the field to, to play games for, for us. Absolutely. Okay, there's a hand there, uh, Robin Juk. So which video? Oh, okay, okay. We'll come back to you if we've got time. Eh? Yeah. Thank you. Coach, um, if I'm not mistaken, since you arrived in this country, you're not a loss to Chipa. And then I'm looking at your games at home, you only lost once. How much confidence do you take from that going to the game? Uh, I would say we are uh, confident, we believe ourselves, but you know, we don't spend actually so much time, and we don't want to spend so much time in the past be because, yes, we won. A lot of games, but this will not help us for the next game because we have to put again the same effort, the same attitude on the, the field because we are a, a team. We live, uh, uh, we live as a team because if we would break the team and try to live as a, as individual players, I think that we will we would crumble. So our strength is to be a team, and this is, of course, as a coach, this is what makes me proud. Okay, I see a hand, Prani, I've noted Jabulo as well as Temba. Thank you, coach. Please talk to us about the rate with statistics. If you do count on it. I see, I'm here. Okay, I <laughs> sorry. I see Chiba has played, uh, Chiba has played, I mean, Karatsu has played Chiba many times since 2020. Karate has won four times, two draws, and, and three draws, and 
The end? I, I did not understand the end. He says the head to head uh, uh -huh. stats. stats. Do they count? Uh, do they count your favor? Because I think the stats is no, leading but out. I think I answered the questions. But it's almost the same one. I say that the stats it's a beautiful thing for the for the people, but for us it's uh, it's a past. We don't care so much about the stats because when you see, since I arrived, we did not win against uh, Royal M. And now it was the first game that we beat them three nil. So the stats is nice, but it doesn't count because every game is a game for the for for them for themselves. And and we know this. I've been in this kind of job now for almost over 25 uh, uh, seasons, and I know that stats is fine, but it doesn't care so much if you don't put a, a effort on this day. Thank you. Uh, coach, what did the club run in the coming uh, no cards do in terms of this team uh, finding itself in new sort of land in terms of what levels you can push this team to? And what would uh, going to death uh, with this club do? Because obviously one of the things that this tournament comes with is the slot to go play conflict football. What we learned from the Black Labour Cup we learn that we can beat any team in this league, but we also learn that, that we can lose against any team in, in this league. And, and the great part is that uh, when you see, again, I can only talk about when I arrived in this beautiful uh, country, that um, what I care is our team, what I care is our club, that we can improve the club, also the team in every stage. And because if we improve there, if we, if we can improve in every level, it will make a lot of easier for the players to perform. And this is the way how it is. We are trying to improve the players. We are trying to improve, like I say, the club. And I try to improve myself, I, all, all of us, to become the best uh, version of us. And we are just competing us against us to be every every day better. And hopefully, a couple of years in front that we can maybe be one of the team, one of the best teams in the, the league is our goal. Because I always say, that if your dream, if your dreams or your goals doesn't scare you, then it's not big enough. Because we want again our goal. It is yes to win games. Because if you win games, then you will become one of the best teams in our league, and then probably we get also some sponsors. We can by maybe Messi and or Ronaldo, and then I can show <laughs> myself what, what for a great coach I am. <laughs> All right, uh, I think, okay, there's a follow-up there. The second aspect is, what would it mean in terms of, uh, as you said, that part of the journey is the growth of this team. What would it mean then to get the opportunity to play cat football should you go and play during this competition? It will be just a beautiful thing. It will be just a dream. It will be just amazing. We are hungry about this kind of success. We want to compete. We want to improve because this is also an excellent level where the player can develop, where the player can improve, where the can player can grow as a player, as a, a, a person. And it will be just beautiful. But um, but uh, I think. In the Cavs are only playing the, the best teams, and we have to show that we can consistently play well, and then we will probably de deserve to play one, one day in the Cup. Thank you, Coach Temba, and then Sia Sana. Temba Sana, from Sports Coach. Congratulations for making it this far. This match is uh, one of those matches where 
uh, both teams are on a good run, I mean, irrespective of whether they get the much deserved attention or not. But, mm-hmm. Coach, looking at uh, a, a, a duo of Coach uh, September and Coach Kopo on the other side, and then this side it's you, what is it that you picked up from the coaching changes that have happened at, at Chipa that make you say it could have been much easier had I coached before these two arrived and played at this stage of the, of the competition? Because they seem to be a different team now and they're doing things differently. What is it that you picked up from them and where do you pick them on this one? I think that uh, since the new coach arrived, he has a, a different style of play. He is more compact, he has uh, less the, the blocks, what I talked. He tried to, to play more, to have the ball, the possession. And he has now a fantastic striker up front, Evan Gay. He's, fa- he's fast, he's strong. And yes, all in all, the team looks very fit, the team looks very strong. And it will be a very tough game for us. And like I said, we have uh, a lot of fantastic uh, PSL coaches in our league, and he is uh, definitely one of the great ones. See ya. Uh, so, when a coach, Siasana uh, here from the Sunday World. Um, coach, uh, how far is Ben Parker from returning? Because the last time we engaged with him, he said that the doctors predicted that he'd be back around or around this time of the year. So, um, and we've also seen him, he's back on the grass, um, training very hard. So how far is he or how close is he from returning? Parker is in terms of the injury, he is uh, great now. The only thing is that he has to get the trust back in his head with, the, with, with his body. And this will be a process, but he is training with us. He is uh, doing all the exercises, what the other players doing. He is also joining us. He is training well. You can see he is very, very uh, close to be back on the field. Because when you see how he sees things, how he finds solutions in uh, small places, how his uh, technique and everything, you can see that this is a world-class player. He is absolutely top. And, and yes, I'm sure that till end of the season that we can uh, see him back on the field, hopefully, if he stays without injury until there, of course. Okay, last question, Lorenz. Um, you rightly said that you know the team is we lost a lot of players, you know, signed players from the NFP, promoted players, two relegated high packs of players in the center of the field. So we could be two wins away from being in the top three, they back up next round in finals of the top four. Could have had you had to be back to because you know some of the other teams are signing I don't know if they see the, uh, but uh, from, from our side is that um, when I came to this uh, club, it was, to, to be honest, it, it was not everything on the, the best, like we know. And, and for myself, it helps me a lot because I, I played my, myself and I saw a lot of great uh, pl- players that disappeared. And I saw also players that didn't have this kind of uh, talent, but they had this uh, character to work hard on them. And I saw many times that the, that the hard work beats uh, talents. And if the talent, of course, doesn't work hard. So what we are looking for, we are looking for uh, players that have this kind of uh, characters because when we watched uh, the players that we got them in our team like Bradley, like Rakvena, like uh, from DDC, like uh, Kalkabini, Pusso. So we, you know, we played a lot of friendly games, like example against NFD teams where we see this kind of 
players that have this quality that we believe can bring or can put our game in a better level and if we believe that some players have this kind of quality then we watch maybe 10 more games of them it's not you know then we just watch how the player be behave on the field if his team starts to lose how he be behave if he misses chances how he be behave if they win so character is very key how and why we picked players and when I, when I see now that uh, what for players we got in our team, uh, I think that we did a lot of good things. When we see the the players that we lost, that have that have also a fantastic uh, uh, characters, and that's why they got so far. And they, the players that uh, lose this kind of, let's say winning to sacrifice to improve that's that likes more to stay in the comfort zone then we as a staff not only me but my entire staff decide to sort this kind of play, play players out because it will not help us it will not help us and our goal is to become one of the best teams in the league what i said but you cannot get it if you have some players that likes to be in a comfort zone because we need players that also wants to achieve these kind of goals that also want, wants to, to prove and make something out of their of of their of their of their careers and maybe also to get to the best one of the best clubs in our league until of course but one day i'm sure it will come that we will be financially strong that we can keep all the players and get to the higher step but it's a process step by step thank you coach that's all we have time for my brother are you do you work here at netbank yes can can i offer you a picture of the coach rather i see you are a tears galaxy supporter yeah.